Hello and welcome to this presentation of hardware in the loop testing for converter control systems. In the picture on this slide, we see an example of a converter in its normal environment. On one side, it has some kind of power supply, and on its other side, there is an electrical machine which is connected to a mechanical load. On this slide, I have drawn a line encapsulating the surroundings, the environment in which the converter is placed. Since we are dealing with power electronics, the currents and voltages in the interfaces between the converter and its environment may be very high. This makes it hard to design a versatile and safe test bench. If we instead draw the line encapsulating the environment of the converter control system, the interface will consist only of low voltage and low current signals. In hardware in the loop testing, we use the low voltage, low current interface to the converter control system and replace the environment surrounding it with the HEAL simulator. Using tools such as Simulink, we then design models representing the surrounding environment. These models are built to executable code, which is downloaded to the HEAL simulator, where they are run in real time. This means that we completely fool the convert control system to believe that it is operating in its normal environment. To complete the hardware in the loop test bench, we need to add the HEAL workstation. By communicating with the convert control board and the HEAL simulator, it can configure both of them introduce actions in both of them, log data, and check conditions in both of them. This makes the HEAL test bench an extremely powerful test environment and very suitable for test automation. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation of hardware in the loop testing for converter control systems.